Hello, welcome back. So I decided to share my day today as a homemaker. Um, I'm trying to do it like maybe like once a month um, because vlogging too much kind of gets like redundant because I do the same thing every single day. Um, but I do like to share my day. So I'm gonna be sharing my day with you today. Um, I decided to do something a little different with my hair. Um, I got a waiver, like the bedhead one. Um, it was actually gifted to me. So I decided to try it today and I'm not sure how I like it. Maybe I did it wrong. Um, maybe it needs to fall out just a little bit more before I start to like it because the waves are a little bit too tight right now. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna give it a couple hours and see if it falls out a little bit. Cause like even whenever I curl my hair, I like uh, whenever the w curls are just a little bit like fallen. I don't know, maybe it'll fall out during the day and I'll like it more, but right now it's just a little bit I kind of feel like a poodle. I don't know. So maybe it'll fall out and I'll like it and I'll leave it down or maybe it'll just go up in a messy bun or a clip. Um, we'll see. Only time will tell if I'm gonna like my hair today. So today um, I have to do school with the kids. I get that done, that is top priority Monday through Friday. Um, I get that done before I do anything else throughout the day. Um, and then I have to clean up my home. Um, I have some laundry to do. I have, you know, obviously things to pick up and clean up. Um, I gotta do the dishes. I have groceries that are gonna be delivered uh, between two and three today. So I'm gonna be sharing with you a grocery haul. And then later I have to cook dinner and my kids want to go outside. So um, yeah, I just decided to take you guys along on my day as a homemaker. Um, if you are new here, I am a stay at home mom. Um, I homeschool both of my kids. Um, I cook and I clean and that is pretty much what I do on my channel, cooking and cleaning. I am so tired today. I'm not sure what is going on, but I cannot sleep. And every time I fall asleep, I wake up in a panic, thinking that my husband is late for work. I don't know why, but I just, I cannot get a good night's rest. And it's starting to catch up with me. I'm like, I feel like a zombie. I feel like I need another cup of coffee. <clears throat> I'm working through my first one now, but I feel like I need another one. Um, that is why my energy is really low because I'm so tired, um, but, homemaking and being a mom never stops. So um, let's go ahead and get going downstairs because our school area is down in our, not down in our basement, but we have like a rec room downstairs. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get going downstairs with the kiddos and get school done. Um, that way um, it's not weighing on me throughout the day. I like to get school done. You know, homeschool is super flexible. Um, if you aren't familiar with homeschooling, you can pretty much do it. You can, you can fit it into your schedule. You can fit it into um, your life, you know, throughout the day. So what we like to do is I like to feed the kids, I get ready, and then we go downstairs and do school. We like to get it done pretty much the first thing um, during the day so that way it's done and we don't have to worry about it. School is now done. Um, I am currently um, researching some things for social studies. The little social study workbook that I purchased for my daughter at the beginning of the school year, I like, but it definitely needs supplemented. So what I'm doing right now is I just got on Etsy and um, I looked up different resources for the subject that we're learning about right now. We're learning about Pocahontas and Jamestown um, so the book introduced, um, the two, but I want to kind of like go in more depth. Um, so that way it kind of makes more sense. So what I did was I just purchased, um, a Jamestown poster set, um, that my daughter can color and we can read, um, and like, like, like we can work through and go through it slowly. Um, and then I also purchased a solar system poster set. Um, this, the shop is L Madison Education. I really like it. I'll link it down below if you're a homeschooler as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that I found this. Um, the worksheets are really cute. I'm just trying to view your files. I'm trying to figure out how to download. View downloads. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and download these. I'm gonna print them out. Um, and then I'll show you what they are. My kids are now content eating some lunch, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the two homeschool resources that I printed out for my older daughter. Um, and my younger daughter can sit and listen as well while I teach her. But um, this is the Etsy shop that I printed them off from. Um, I'll link it down below in the description box as well if you're a homeschooling family or if you're looking for just some other resources to use. Um, but I got the Jamestown Settlement Coloring Pages and then the Solar System Planets. Um, this was like $5.20 altogether. These two were on sale. These are so cute. Um, my daughter is going to color the picture and then we're going to go over like what it says in the bottom. Um, we're going to do like maybe a couple of pages each time we do social studies and then we'll put it all together and read the whole story all together. And then she's been really interested in the solar system. Like she's been asking questions about the sun and the earth and the stars um, and the moon and things like that. So I figured now's a good time to go over the solar system. Um, so we're just going to do maybe like one to two pages each time we do science and then uh, maybe we'll do like a experiment or something like that at the end. I also had to go ahead and copy more spelling test sheets um, out of her workbook for future tests. up for the most part um, I cleaned up my kitchen didn't do the dishes because I'm gonna be honest I have no motivation to do my dishes so maybe I'll do those in a little bit um, but I cleaned up my kitchen and my dining room uh, cleaned off the table picked up around the table um, and put things away it feels much better in here I haven't done the living room yet because my kids are still playing in there and there's really no point to clean up the living room until they're done playing with what they're playing with um, and you know, my house is lived in and I have two small children and of course there's going to be toys everywhere. So, um, I just like to pick up every day to make sure that the toys and the mess is manageable whenever I do go to pick up again. Um, but now that that is done, groceries are going to be delivered in about 40 minutes. <clears throat> so, um, 
Maybe we'll go outside for a little bit. My daughter really wants to go outside for a little while. Um, it's nice out. What is the temperature out today? It's 70 degrees out, so I think I'm gonna take the kids outside to play, let them burn off some energy, because I noticed that whenever they get to burn off energy, they don't fight as much in the middle of the day. Like the three to four o'clock hour for some reason for them is when they start picking on each other the most. So um, I'm gonna try to avoid that today and take them outside and play. Um, a little fresh air does the soul good. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, hey girls, you wanna go outside for a little bit? We're going outside! <laughs> you guys, I'm so tired. I feel like I can fall asleep standing up and I even drank another cup of coffee. Um, but update on my hair, I actually really like it now. Now that it kind of like fell out a little bit and it settled in. Now that I have like the side part going, I actually really like my hair now. At first I was like, man, I wasted so much time on my hair and I hate it. But I think it looks kind of cute now. Come on, let's get your socks and shoes on and change your diaper. my Walmart delivery order just arrived so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got over here I just got some white bread um, I got some cheddar cheese crackers like Cheez-Its um, my kids love Cheez-Its and this was a cheaper option so I grabbed these I got some rippled potato chips and then I got some barbecue my older daughter loves the barbecue ones she prefers barbecue so I just got a bag of each I think these were like two dollars and four cents I'm pretty sure a piece um, then I got some Sloppy Joe mix. Um, this was only, I think, 92 cents. Um, I needed one and I wanted to get one for my pantry as well um, to have on hand. So I got two of those. I got some Great Value Grape Jelly. Um, I got some Jif Natural Peanut Butter. Some Great Value Spaghetti. Great Value Cookie Dough. Most of what I got is Great Value, um, with the exception of the peanut butter and the Go-Gurts. Um, so I got some Twin Pops, just the assorted popsicles. Some whole wheat burger buns. Normally I get the white ones, but this is the only thing that was available. And this is honestly a little healthier, so I got that as well. So that is why I went with those ones. Um, I got some mild cheddar cheese. I got 300 sandwich bags. Um, I was gonna get the smaller box, but my husband takes lunches with him now, and we're gonna use them. So I just got the $5, 300 bags um, for his lunches. They're good to have on hand um, for lunches. Um, I got some sour cream. Um, I wanted to get the one that was only a dollar. It's like a smaller one of it, but it wasn't available, so I got this one. I figured it's good to have on hand for other recipes. Um, when we're in a pinch, um, we use sour cream on 
quite a few different recipes. Um, I got a half a pound of ham. Lately my husband has been taking peanut butter sandwiches with him to work, but I'm not really sure what he wanted this week, so I just got a half a pound because my kids and I will eat it as well if he doesn't, so I just got a half a pound of that. Um, I got some black seedless grapes. I did order two of these. I'm not sure if they were out and I got refunded one of them, um, but I only got one of them. I, my kids prefer the red ones, but they were all sold out, so I went with the black because um, sometimes the green um, grapes can be a little tart and I'd rather them eat them than them just rot away in the fridge. I got some gala apples, gala, gala, however you want to pronounce it. I got some apples. I got some gogurts. You guys know that my younger daughter loves gogurt, and these are the ones I normally get. So I got those. I don't know if they have great value, like yogurts. Maybe they do. I know Aldi sells them um, at their store, but I just get the Simply Gogurt ones. Um, I placed my order, and then my husband asked me if I got any um, shredded wheat cereal. And I told him that I didn't, so I went ahead and added some to my order for today. So I got some of those. I got six bananas back here. Um, my husband takes a banana with him to work, and my kids love bananas, so I got more. I got some buttermilk waffles. Um, this whole thing is like three dollars. It's crazy because it used to be like a dollar seventy-four for this. Now it's three dollars. Got some of those, and then I got some two percent milk. Um, this carton is like squished, and it was leaking a little bit, um, so I kind of have to like wipe it off. So um, then I got a thing of diapers, size five pampers for my daughter. And then over here, I haven't brought it into the kitchen yet, but I got a case of water and two gallons of water as well. Okay, so for dinners this week, I went ahead and took my list off of my refrigerator. <laughs> I'm gonna put you down in my cabinet too. Um, but for dinners this week, um, normally I have it like all written out and organized on one of my printable lists that I have in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. Um, if you're interested in any of those, I have a ton of different ones that are available, but um, normally I have my whole grocery list written out on one of my like meal planners, but lately I've just been like jotting it down quickly um, because I haven't printed one out <laughs> lately. Um, but anyway, for dinners this week, um, I pretty much am just making what I had on hand and I got some things to go with the meals because I had to buy the big box of diapers. Um, it was like $40, so I only really had I would say like $50 to spend on food. Um, normally I like to make the breakfast sandwiches um, for my husband that he takes with him in the morning for work, but because I had to buy diapers and we needed some other things for the dinners, there wasn't really any room in the budget for the breakfast sandwiches that I normally make for my husband. So that is how I kind of, um, I thought I got dry shampoo too. Maybe I didn't, maybe that was refunded. Um, I'll have to look at that. but. Um, because I had to buy diapers this week, kind of cut into my budget a little bit because my budget was $100 and the diapers were $40, so that's fun. Can't wait for my daughter to be potty trained. But anyways, for dinner this week, staying on topic, I'm going to be making tacos. Um, I have the ground beef and the tortillas um, and the taco sauce or seasoning, whatever it is, the powdered seasoning. Um, but I just needed some sour cream and cheese for them, so I got that. I'm going to be making steaks, corn, and mashed potatoes. I have everything for that. Um, I'm going to be making canned beef sloppy joes with chips. I have the canned beef, um, and all I needed were the chips, the sloppy joe mix, and the buns, and those weren't that expensive. Um, and then I'm also going to be making spaghetti and meatballs. I have everything for that, but I just got another thing of spaghetti um, to keep up on my pantry. So, like, whenever I use something out of my pantry I like to replenish it so that way I have um, some things on hand. So that is what I'm going to be making this week. Um, cheap, inexpensive meals is the way that I like to go. Um, if you are new here, um, we had to really cut down on our grocery budget so I'm learning how to stretch meals and I'm learning how to buy the cheaper option and things like that. So I feel like I did really good this week for what I had and what I had to buy. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff put away.
groceries away. Um, the milk actually had a hole in the carton. So um, I just dumped it into a pitcher and put it in my fridge because um, we're gonna use it anyway. Um, I'm not gonna return it. I thought about returning it because of that, but there's really no point. We're gonna drink the milk anyway. The milk isn't spoiled or anything. So um, I just dumped it into a pitcher and put it away. Um, I put all, everything else away. I washed my grapes. Um, and now what I need to do is sit down and edit the video for tomorrow. Um, I got some work to get caught up on, so I'm gonna do that. Um, it is 3.02 right now. Um, my kids are content eating a snack, so I need to sit down and do a little bit of work before I have to start on dinner and before my husband comes home. Um, he's working a little bit of a different schedule now, um, and it's challenging to get used to, but we're a lot happier now. So I have about an hour and a half before um, I need to start dinner before he comes home. So let's go ahead and get some work done on my computer. Um, I need this as well. Um, I need to do a voiceover for my video tomorrow. So I have um, quite a few of these cans of meat. I bought them a little while ago um, for times like this whenever we're in a pinch and we are now. So I'm going to be using this Keystone um, all natural beef, fully cooked, no water added, no preservatives. For my sloppy joes, we're gonna see how it turns out. I know you usually use ground beef for sloppy joes, but I figured if we just put this with some sloppy joe mix on a sandwich, it would taste pretty good. So we're gonna try it out. Um, I figured it would be a good time to give this a try. I'm always up for trying new cheap recipes. So that is what we're gonna be having for dinner and we're just gonna have it with some chips and I'm gonna give my kids some fruit on the side. Maybe I'll do with some veggies, I'm not sure. Um, maybe I'll open some corn or some green beans. I'll probably open a can of green beans as well um, for my kids. I have my canned beef in my pan now. Even though it's fully cooked, I'm still going to heat it up on the stove. And then I'm going to add some of this sloppy joe sauce. Um, you just add the meat. So once this is warmed up and um, ready to go, I'm going to add my sloppy joe sauce. I never ended up sharing with you um, if we liked this recipe or not, and we actually really liked it, but the one thing that we would do differently next time is I would only use half of this can of meat for the sloppy joes, and then I would freeze the other half or just save the other half for the next night for um, tacos. We ended up having to throw away half of the can because we didn't use it and we reheated it, um, but for next time, we're just gonna save the other half for a different meal. So the sloppy joe mix and the meat are all done. It didn't really take long to cook because the meat was fully cooked anyway. I just needed to heat it up and heat the sauce with it. Um, but we did really end up liking this. Um, it was really good. So after we all ate dinner, um, I asked my husband what he would like for um, lunch at work the next day and he requested two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, I'm getting in the habit of packing my husband's lunch for work the next day right after dinner. That way, um, well, for one, I remember to do it and um, I have time to do it because usually right before my kids go to bed, I am giving them a bath and winding them down and just the pre-bed, um, you know, bath time is just crazy. So it is much easier just to get in the habit to pack his lunch right after dinner. Um, I have really grown to enjoy packing his lunch. Um, this way I can ensure that he eats and he is fed while he's at work. Um, and it's something that makes me really happy to do for some reason, I don't know, but it just, I feel really grateful whenever I pack his lunch. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack his lunch for him and get it in the fridge so it's ready for him to grab the next morning.
then all I do is I just put the peanut butter sandwiches in the fridge with the two cheese sticks that he wanted and then I just put the bottles of water and banana in a bag. Um, that way he can just grab the sandwiches out of the fridge and be on his way. Now this is the next day. Um, I woke up and I realized that I had an entire sink of dishes to clean and some laundry to fold. So I'm going to go ahead and take you along um, while I do those two chores. Um, I'm just going to clean out my sink and get my dishwasher running and then I'm going to be folding some laundry. Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door to wake up yeah oh, we can spend all day in there i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix marathon kg saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food i'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone Shut the lights, go in front of We can spend all day in bed. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. Pick me up when 
So that does it for this vlog style sort of homemaking video. Um, it was more homemaking than, you know, chatting, but I really enjoyed filming this video and I really hoped that you enjoyed watching it. Um, if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. Um, and if you're coming back, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next one.